What up, my dude? Tony today. We're at the channel. We're about to leave vlogs. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Today, we're gonna be doing the BMW, some little fix fix that we're gonna be doing. If you guys remember from the last vlog, um, we did have a problem with the BMW. I didn't want to turn on anymore when we were turning out the headlights, so I haven't drove on the road at all. So I don't know basically if those headlights that I got, the new ones, actually do work. So we're gonna fix the BMW right now and we're going back to basic, basic mechanical work, which is battery check make sure the battery is okay which right now i have a battery charging auto zone well i had it charging in auto zone but the battery is back in my truck and it's right over here and good thing good news my dudes good news my dudes the battery is good so the battery is good i just picked up from auto zone we're gonna be replacing this so the first owner before when i got the bmw he gave me this and he says that we need to replace it because it is getting kind of uh, kind of loose, making that noise. And this is the the tension for the serpentine belt, which is down over here, my dudes. So we just gotta take off this fan really quick, and you guys will see what I'm talking about. Ah, uh, it's that one right there. Uh, can you see it? Yeah, but it's that one down there. We're gonna be swapping out. We're gonna be changing that. And then after that, I believe today, if we have time, if we have time today, we're gonna be also doing the replacement of the fan. Cause if you guys don't remember, me and my pops, we did the replacement of the fan because how these guys had the wires at first. They had the wires just connected like that, so it was we had to connect it manually. So what we did was we destroyed that, put this wire way over here, and we put it inside one of these wires. Which is just basically, we just put it into any wire that we can find. So every time the key's in position one, when the battery's on, the fan will turn on. And we're thinking that's the reason why it is dying so much. The battery's not working as much. is because of that specific reason. Because the bat, because the fan needs more, more, how you explain it, more, um, more power, more, more watts. And then I think that's what we call it, watts. Yeah. And then we're destroying it because it needs more, more of a separate line than these. Because these only go up to a certain power amount because they're not that much power. and Or that, or it could be the alternator. The alternator is not doing its work at all. And probably that's the reason why the battery keeps dying. But basically, that's it that we're going to do today. We're going to be swapping that. Ah, oh, it's a bit windy, my dude. So I'm going to be covering up the wind with my hands. So it might be kind of bad audio. But anyways, this is the fan. I took off the fan. And this is what we're talking about. This is what we're going to be replacing. First, we got to take off the serpentine belt in order to change it. And I believe the one that's acting up, it is this one right here, which is the tensioner. Uh, most likely, my pops is going to come from work and he's going to help me out. Every time I need him, he shows up on time. So hopefully, he shows up on time before I, I even get started doing this. And it'll be easier for us because I can now, he can do the work and I can record him instead of me doing stops and goes and cut scenes so you guys can actually see like the whole thing of it. So it's also a good thing that he's here to help me to make sure everything is right on track and also for you guys can see. Let me get some gloves on before my hands gets all dirty and all that fun stuff. A lot of cars, um, they have a sticker, they have like a design or somewhere beneath the bumper or something like this, which this does not have at all. And basically the sticker is just a design, a diagram of showing how the belt supposed to be positioned. If you don't have that, what I like to do is, oh, the old fashioned, just a quick sketch. Uh, as long as you can understand it, then it's all good. Mine's, I'm not an artist, that's why I didn't go to art school, but this is mine is a little quick sketch so I can know uh, how to put it, how to put the belt back on. Taking pictures with your cell phone, that is a good idea, but not, uh, I don't know, I'd rather just draw it out so I can like see it and I can like remember it because when you're drawing, it sends signals to your brain, science stuff, I don't even know. I do, my pop showed up exactly in the nick of time before I was going to even start because he always shows up exactly when I need him. Um, looking at it, like really, really, really well, it is that one that we're going to replace, but this one looks different than the, than the one that it has um everybody inside the car so hopefully the first owner before me when i got this car got the right right attention what do you, what do you call this attention pulley yeah attention belt pulley attention belt pulley hopefully you got the right one because i know there's two different types of attention bright pulley tension belt pulley ers there's two different types i know that because i've seen it online i google it and i research it so i've really got the right one so we're just going to get a better view under. So my dad wants to go under the car to make sure this is the right one before we even start everything. But I believe, I believe, 
is, is not the right one because this one does need the alum wrench and that one just needs a regular screwdriver I mean not a screwdriver uh, a wrench to tension it up so that's why we're just double checking making sure everything's correct before you even start this project great I think you got the wrong part like he completely got the wrong part let me show you guys over here because over here I can get better view so so like I said there's two type of tensioners and looking at it well thanks to Hans Garage so the one that we have this is the one that we have on the BMW this is the one the guy got and these will not go back together like you have to buy the specific one because it already has the holes and all that stuff so we got the wrong one the guy ordered the wrong one to point that out so we're basically not going to be doing that today unless we go and get that part from AutoZone and most likely we're probably going to do that uh, but yeah basically that's what happened it was the wrong tension belt pulley we're gonna go probably go check it out see how much it costs i really don't know how much it costs since it's a bmw since it's german all these parts are like double the price and that's a bummer like a big time bummer for that i thought we had the part the guy told me we have the part you just gotta install it well this guy got the wrong part great so ellen ranch like i said you put it inside the hole which is right there. You gotta take off the cover before you do it. My cover is already off. This is supposed to be covered. This is supposed to be covered. Well, there you took it off. So, you put inside the hole. Get a long tool. What we used was the jack. And then you just counterclockwise. And then you just move the belt with your hand. The serpentine belt. And boom. It is off. I don't think it got stuck. So we use this, this pull, which we use for the car jack, to jack it up so you can get a better, more leverage, more power. So the belt's off. The belt looks good. So it's not the belt. Yeah, they're good. The belt's good. Yeah, the right. So next from Hans Garage, shout out to that guy. We have to take off this, he says, so mm -hmm. you can hear the noise. We don't want to hear noise at all. A little bit. No, that's a little. What a pump. That's good. Only this one? Only that one. And this one. That's a little one, but that's, that's okay. It's not the... Which is that one? It's an idle pulley. Yes, idle. Idle? Yeah. Okay. And the alternator is okay? Because that's, that's the next thing I want to see. How do you feel it? There's no noise. No noise. So how can the car keeps dying? That's good. Okay, let's take that okay. one off. There. Want to take it off? Yeah. Okay. okay. We're taking off this one because you can get more room to work with. Unless you want to work in a tight space, then you could do it. But this is just to have more space. Like I said, these have covers on both of these. So the reason pop them off, just a flat screw screwdriver and just pop them off. But for some reason, these are not covered, which is no biggie. Same principle. Does the same outcome. So this is range. Another one is socket. And it should be a long bolt. You didn't want to do this too for me? Not for you. I got the last ones, man. Um, Where's your want this? Eh? Where's your gloves? Here it is. This whole part just came off just like so. Put it right here in this cardboard. Oh, yeah. So you guys can see it just opened up a whole lot of space we can play with. Okay, can I use these ones? Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, I'm not gonna use them no more. We took it off, my dudes. So it's just just that one long bolt that was popping out. So it was right like so. We just took it off, and this is the other one. And this doesn't match the one that we have. You guys hear that sound? That's no good. When you do these, you don't want to hear sound at all. And the new one that the guy got us, that one, it it, it doesn't work. We have to go. Return it, but we don't know where to return it. We don't have a receipt, we don't have nothing like that. So, most likely, we're not gonna get nothing back. But this is the wrong one. You guys can pay yourself from Hands Garage. Shout out to that guy, like I said. I'm gonna do a lot of shout outs to that guy, he helped me a lot. There's two different types, and we have the two different types. So, no good, no good, dude. So, we got two options here. Um, 
since the guy left us this police, we have no idea where he got it from. We don't have the receipt, so chances are we won't get our money back. But since my dad's like a master mechanic, he decided to do his um, experiments. So we got this is the old pulley. This is the pulley was on the BMW, and this is the new one. Like we said, it's two different um, tensioners, um, belt pulleys. We're gonna call them pulleys for short. So we went like this, and they're like the same. You guys can see they're like the same. Can you do it for me? Yeah, they're like the same. So, and the next thing we did was we got a ruler to measure the old one to find out how far is it from the metal, which we got. So we got that saved. And then we went and we thought that my dad thought, well, why would we just swap these? Because probably they're like the same thing. It's just that they're different, mounted differently for the car can fit. So we're going to do that. So we thought it was a pretty smart idea. We already did it. So we did it already, my dudes. And we're just going to show you guys what we did. Just like a little flashback. That's what that's what you gotta do. You gotta do it and then you gotta flash it back. So my dad just took off the old one from the old BMW. So we just took off this pulley, so you guys saw. This is the mount for the BMW, the original one that's supposed to go on the car. Now we're taking off the new one. So, this is what we did. We just swapped it, but there's a catch to it. Wait, my dudes. Just tighten it up. So when you tighten up the new one from the new mount, you're going to realize that we have a problem right there. So we can't even spin it. So if you're spinning it, it doesn't even spin because it's already, it's already hitting the metal. So what we decided to do is we put spacers. So we can get a little space off the metal so we won't be damaging it at all. This one had a spacer too. The original had a spacer in the back. So we're just going to swap it to the new one. And now it's movable. But to double check, we measure it with the ruler that we got. Which is the exact same two measurements of method to make sure it's the exact same as it was with the original, with the old one, this one. And of course, we spin it to make sure it's spinnable. Because that's the whole point of these belts, that they make sure that the whole serpentine belt is spin so it can run through the engine. Triple checking, double checking, quadruple checking, you always want to check to make sure. This one is no longer used to us anymore, so it's just metal. Recycle most likely, but we saved money And we didn't have to make a hassle to do a drive. So this is the old new use Basically, we, all we did was change this pulley and basically that's the whole principle of the whole thing when you're replacing it Like I said two different mounts two different tension belts So either BMW has this one or it has this one and that's what we just did. We just swapped out Swapped out the pulley. This is the old one if you guys can hear the noise like we showed you guys, so this is the old one, no longer in use. The new one with the old mount and perfectly done. That's how we're gonna do it, my dudes, and that's how we're gonna stick it. And hopefully, it does work. If you have the receipt to the original one, might as well just go to AutoZone or back to wherever you got it from and just swap it out instead of what we did. So, if you guys can see the top aisle pulley, let me get a better view. Okay, I'm gonna take it off so that I can show you better. So the top aisle pulley, whether it goes right here. I see the little button right here, like little lock switch. Make sure that's locked. So when you put it inside, you see that little hole right there? It has to go right flush inside the hole, right to its home. It can't be like that. It has to keep going till you find the hole and boom, just tighten it up. So that was just showing you guys that. So we took that off. I'm just putting everything back on my dudes. We just wanted to show you guys this one with the little lock button. But this one goes in first, the one that we're replacing the tension. You guys can see it right there, my pops is doing. Move the camera. This will have you guys with your heads sideways. Sitting sideways, bows in the days. Damn, that's like a Paul Wall song right there. That's how old I am. You guys can get a little knowledge. 
Alright, my dudes. Uh, we're just gonna put we're gonna put everything back on. And I'll show you guys once it's done when we put everything back on because it's gonna take a while putting everything back on. It's time for me to vlog everything. So we're gonna put everything back on and once we're done I'll show you guys the final project and we'll start it up and hopefully that does work. This is the new one. This is the one that goes on top which is the idol and then the bottom one was intention. So now since we have no picture of sticker uh, any whatsoever in the diagram we always draw a picture like I said. This is my pops sketch. Not professional but it's whatever as long as we can read it. <laughs> and then we just got to put it back how it was and then we just start it all up and then hopefully it looks good and it sounds good. And the back of the okay. So once it's, so once we're done with this, we're gonna continue moving on to the fan, like I said, because the fan's another issue of the BMW that we have, and we think that's draining all the power from that. So on the fan, it has an arrow showing you where the air is supposed to be or how the fan is supposed to go. It's supposed to go this way, but when I turn on the BMW, my fan goes the opposite way. So to fix that problem on the quicks, we have these wires. Vice versa, we have them backwards. We're gonna swap them out backwards and the fan will be blowing the right, correct air. So this basically happens when you're saying, uh, if the fan's blowing the other way, then it's blowing air this way. If it's turning the other way, it's blowing air outwards, outwards or inwards. Just, so now we're gonna just swap them and change them. There we go, look at the air, look at the air, look at the air, look at the arrow. You hit yourself? Uh, be careful. Look at the arrow, look at the arrow, look at the arrow. Ding, yep, going the right way. How did it get the guante? Mm. Okay, now it's going the right way, so now we know it's going the right way. So that problem is fixed. Long vlog, a lot of work on the BMW. All right, my dudes, I skipped the big chunk of this vlog because it'll be too much editing, it'll be too long, it'll be too boring, and there was a lot of trier and err. Uh, so it wasn't really like a good contact but i left you guys off with the fan and we're completely done the engine is completely done we put everything back what it is first thing first the tension belt um pulley done completely worked really well real nice fan is back completely done and it's blowing the right direction which is clockwise instead of counterclockwise so that's for the means that the air is going towards either towards the engine or the engine or the air was going out but we fixed that problem I uh, just forgot to put the cover. Last but not surely, my dudes, was the fan was a big issue. Oh, it's smoking. Why is it smoking, Juan? Yeah, the oil. All this stuff. Oh, yeah? That's fine. All right, that's fine. Okay, I did like a little test drive. That's why. <laughs> so, let me check out what we did. Remember, we had the fan connected to a random wire that we had here in the fuse, in the fuse box area. We had these wires connected to, to the fan. We, did, we don't do that anymore. We took that off. And what we did was we have constant power to the fan like it was before but we did a little maintenance down here my dudes so what we had to do in order to so we won't drain our battery out or that's what we think in our hypothesis our theory me and my pops we had to add um, we had to add a switch so if i flip it on the fan comes on if i flip it off the fan dies off and that's what we wanted to do and hopefully that can um not that hopefully that can make us save battery time because instead of us having it on and on and on but i know a lot of people are going to be like that louis that's dangerous because you have constant power going to the fan and the switch is the switch that keeps it on or off but just in case for extra extra safety <laughs> we did a little fuse so we first did it with 20 and it just burned out right away when we turned it on so now we're on 30 if you guys can see that not really but we're on 30 and we have this here just in case if anything happens and i am going to carry a couple of 30s with me just in case if anything does happen not to just replace that and swap it off but basically the bmw is back it is back finally all that sweat all those tears all that spend money on it and we finally got it back wow and we're not even completely done yet. Like I said, I'm still missing this piece that goes right here. This piece is falling off. And then I have to put this piece. Then I'm missing this piece that goes under here that covers up all this wiring that looks ugly. 
And then like I was saying, I installed this new e-brake, so I got the leather. It still has this Alcantara and it looks really ugly, like it's no good at all. So I gotta do that. I still have a dual thing. I don't know why, but uh, let you guys know the AC and heater does not work. Radio, the radio only works with Bluetooth. I do not have radio radio to get stations, which I love listening to stations, so that's a bummer. But besides that, everything's A-OK. -okay. The Beamer is coming back. The Beamer is coming back. Finally, I can start using it like a daily car, which I was for a whole point why I traded my sports bike for this car. But it's been a long process until we finally got it done. I still have to drive it at night to see if those lights do work. So if you guys like what I do, subscribe down below. Louis Vlogs, find me on Instagram at Louis Vlogs, link for the page at Louis Vlogs. See you guys next one. So, peace out.